All right, you won jobs. Well, developers in Charleston, South Carolina say they can do that with money for a new port for all those tourists that come by in those big cruise ships. There's a catch here, though. Not everybody wants it. Jonathan Sarah is live in our Southeast Bureau with more on this. What's the rub there, Jonathan? Hey, Bill. Well, Charleston is an elegant town of centuries old homes. It's also a thriving port city. And what folks there are finding is that balancing historic preservation with uh, progress can sometimes lead to conflict. Charleston, South Carolina draws tourists from around the world. But how those visitors get here is making waves in the community. I have nothing against cruising. I've been on a number of cruises, and I think that they're a great thing. I just think that Charleston is a small city, and it all needs to be kept in balance. Just steps from the historic district is this 65-acre cargo terminal. The state ports authority wants to redevelop the land. The cruise business is an extraordinarily positive force for the local economy at a time when most communities are shedding jobs. We're adding jobs through the cruise business. It's really been a life preserver for this waterfront. By converting this old warehouse into a state-of-the-art cruise ship terminal, the city and port hope to bring their tourist industry into the 21st century. But some residents fear it'll jeopardize the historic flavor that draws so many visitors to Charleston in the first place. I think that this is something that can be resolved very easily by moving the cruise ship terminal to another location. And some residents want to move that cruise terminal to an existing cargo port about a mile and a half north of the current site. But port officials say they don't want to disrupt industrial operations there. Bill? Well, watch how this turns out. A great town down there in Charleston. Thank you, Jonathan. Absolutely. Sarah. All right, Martha?